You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Give us a heart of humbleness, compassion, mercy, and love, our Savior, our, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed to your image, the living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued. To sin against you. Your sacred heart. Has shown us perfection. You have given us. All your love. But we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not followed. Your example. When your sacred heart. Invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies. As we love ourselves. We turned and walked away. When you give us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. That all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. 
we pray for Shelby, who was in a car accident, suffered some traumatic injuries. Have mercy on her. Bring healing to her, Lord. Defy the diagnosis of the doctor. Let the world know that the final word is yours, O Lord. That they may understand that all power resides, that is, with you and in you and through you. We pray, Lord, for for Sandra, who is applying for Social Security. She needs it, Lord. She's in pain. She's ill. Um, she paid her dues. Worked since 15, 16 years old. Sometimes two jobs. And now it's, well, time for the Social Security uh, program to do what it's supposed to do. Help workers, workers out. Not make it so difficult for workers to, to, to receive a claim, legitimate claims. So we pray, Lord, that this process will speed up and she'll be able to receive her or, or get her claim approved. Prayer for those who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also pray for Evelyn Lord, who... Um, is doing some paperwork. Pray for her business. Bless her business, Lord. Uh, open new opportunities for her. Help her get uh, con uh, contracts, the necessary contracts with the insurance companies to be able to have a, a steady and constant patient flow that would allow her to um, keep her business um, healthy and her finances healthy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, that you will help Evelyn with her paperwork. As in particular today, that she'll be able to do all her work without any glitches on the computer, any glitches on the system, any uh, problems, that you help her write uh, the things she needs to write faster so that she can complete all of her, her work today and doesn't have to um, have an all-nighter again. Help her do her her work and keep it up throughout the week so that she doesn't have to bunch it all up to one one or two days of the week. Um, have mercy on her, Jesus. And bless her. Have, have, have mercy on her and bless her, O oh Lord. And Jesus, we pray that you um, bless Christine, who is about to begin uh, medical school. First, we thank you and praise you for her having been accepted. Um, it took a lot of hard work and a lot of heart, a lot of dedication, but the ability to do the hard work and the ability to be dedicated and stay focused and stay on top of things she owes to you, and she recognizes that. And she recognizes us that without you, she will not complete this leg of the journey. But she needs you to continue by her side, helping her to be hardworking, helping her to be focused, uh, helping her intellect, and giving her the ability to withstand and, and move forward as the journey goes on. And so we pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless her intellect. That you will continue to bless her ability to, to do well and, and actually to, to, to do extremely well, as she has done this far, to, to, to be a top medical school student and um, that every, all the things will fall in place. And um, we definitely praise you and thank you that throughout this whole uh, ordeal because it is it has been an ordeal 
you have given her the ability to 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 hold on to you and to trust in you and as all we pray that this will continue to be the case pray for the uh, order of the sacred heart of Jesus we pray for sacred heart of Jesus chapel and the missionary diocese of the sacred heart of Jesus that we may be able to continue to grow that we may be able to uh, bring many people into a praying relationship with you Lord and that um, we'll be able to grow many uh, churches in the diocese and spread the good news of salvation throughout uh, Florida and any other areas that we are assigned also pray Lord for my business um, continue to bless me Lord and help me grow my business so that I can provide the finances to support my my ministry to support my family we also bring to you Lord the special intentions of the order of the sacred heart of Jesus Lord we pray that when we come together for prayer we may pray in the spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication Lord have mercy merciful father with our Holy Spirit we are nothing but emptiness and confusion let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose Lord have mercy precious father as you fill us with your Holy Spirit let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us grant us a message of wisdom grant us a message of knowledge increase our faith bless us with the gifts of healing give us miraculous powers give us the gift of prophecy the gift of distinguishing between spirits the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues the gift of interpretation of tongues but more importantly Lord bless us with the gift of love all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name Lord have mercy Lord Christ in your mercy you have called us to serve you we pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit so that when we speak a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel Lord have mercy Heavenly Father we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word help us to be strong in you God and to rely on your power Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved. By your unending grace. Lord have mercy. King of peace. As you ask. Whom shall I send. To proclaim. Your message of salvation. Into the world. Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon your servants. Gather here today. And use each of us according to your gifts. As ambassadors of your holy message. Here in our cities. And around the world Lord, have mercy. Lord God heavenly King revive us and we will call on your name restore us O Lord God Almighty make your face shine upon us that we may be saved bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation Lord have mercy and now as O Lord Jesus Christ has taught us we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation.